Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about unit conversions. A unit conversion is a way to convert something from one unit of measurement to another by multiplying it by something called a conversion factor. Now it's kind of important to note that you may hear unit conversion also mentioned as dimensional analysis. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Here we have a pencil and part of a ruler. I want us to measure this pencil using the ruler. Firstly, we make this measurement. And it's clear that the pencil is exactly 10.16 centimeters long. Okay, so now we can use the bottom part of the ruler to make another, another measurement. Here we see that the pencil is exactly 4 inches long. Now how could this be? We have 10.16 centimeters and we have 4 inches, but they're both the same pencil, right? So this must mean that the two numbers here are exactly the same. Okay, so now let's think about it a little farther. If you had a friend who had this exact same pencil, and was trying to measure how long it how long it is in centimeters, but their ruler only measured in inches. How could they do it? Well, they could measure it in inches and then use unit conversion to then figure out how long it is in centimeters. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to do it. So let's say I have 47 inches and I want to convert it to centimeters. Now it's important to start out with a goal in mind. Here we have 47 inches and we want to get that to centimeters. So we really want to plan out our, our process so that we can get 47 inches into centimeters. Okay, so let's begin with just starting with 47 inches. From here, in that definition I gave, I mentioned multiply. So we're going to start by multiplying by something. But here we don't know what are we multiplying by. We're multiplying by 7, by 12, 50. Let's keep it simple. I think we should just start by multiplying by 1. What happens when we multiply any number by one? It stays the same. So here we have 47 inches once again. Now that didn't really help us at all. We're gonna move on. So 47 inches again. This time, let's try multiplying it by one over one. So when we're multiplying fractions, it's helpful to, to make sure that all of the numbers look like fractions. So that it simplifies how we multiply things. Here we can just do the top times the top over the bottom times the bottom, right? So when we multiply this across, we just get the same 47 inches over one. Now let's try things again because this didn't really get us anywhere either. We're still in inches. We haven't gotten to our goal of centimeters. Okay. Well, this time I'm going to say that we're going to multiply by one inch over one inch. This is only a little bit different because I'm adding in that unit inches. However, since it's inch over inch, those would cancel. Therefore, it's the exact same thing as saying one over one. This is a little bit helpful for us because since we have inches on the top left next to our 47 and the bottom right next to one, we can cross cancel those. So we can cross those out and then we can continue our multiplication just as before. So we have 47 times one times inches to get 47 inches over one times one equals just one. So here again, we got 47 inches over one. Again, this didn't really help us get to centimeters. And so now let's think about how the heck are we gonna get to centimeters? We've done all this work already, but we haven't really made any progress. Well, there was this other part of the definition that I haven't mentioned yet, which, which is the conversion factor. Now, before I dive into the conversion factor that we're going to use in this problem, let's just give it, I'm going to give an example of a conversion factor that might seem a little bit more familiar. This example is three feet over one yard. This basically just means that three feet is exactly equal to one yard. If you think about it as a yardstick, you know that if you put three rulers end to end, that's three feet and it's the exact same length as one yard. Another key note is that this three feet over one yard is, can you can simplify to one over one. This just means that that three feet, again, is the exact same thing as one yard. Now in our case, we're not using feet and yards. We're using inches and centimeters. So what's the equivalence between an inch and a centimeter? Well, that's not something that I knew off the top of my head, so I headed to Google, like anything else. I found that 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. So this is going to be helpful in getting us to that centimeter value. Again, that 2.54 centimeters over inches is exactly the same as saying 1 over 1 because they are the exact same thing. So now let's go back to where we were before. We have 47 inches over 1 once again, but now we're going to multiply by our conversion factor. And here we're going to have those two units, the top left and the bottom right. Again, those cancel. Quick note that those have to be diagonally across from each other in order to cancel. If they're next to each other, they, it wouldn't work. Okay, so now we just multiply our top and our bottom, like so. We have 47 times 2.54 times centimeters over 1 times 1, and we get our final answer of 119.38 centimeters over 1, which is just the same thing here, which is our final answer. 
Now it's important to just double check with our goal initially. The goal was to put it in centimeters. Here are our answers in centimeters. So it checks out, we did a good job. Okay, so let's do an example here. Let's say you travel 2,500 feet in your car to Isabella's to get a sandwich for lunch. How far in meters did you travel to get your lunch? Okay, so let's start the same way we started the last one with a goal in mind, right? So we're, we're starting with feet, that's the given. We're given feet, but we wanna to get to meters. It's important to remember that we're gonna to need to get to meters. All right, so let's start with our fraction. We have 2,500 feet over one. Our conversion factor here is between feet and meters. Again, I didn't know this off the top of my head, but I Googled it and found that one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. The key there is that they're equal, once again. So now we multiply our initial value times that conversion factor. We can cross cancel the feet here to get rid of them. And we're left with uh, meters. So we use our multiplication here. We have 2,500 2, times one times M over one times 3.28. We have to do 2,500 times meters over 3.28. We do our division and we get our final answer of 762.2 meters. And once again, we just double check with our goal. The goal was to get into meters. Our, our answer is in meters. So that checks out, we're good to go. So one final example, then we're, then we're all done. Let's say we have a space shuttle that's traveling 3,000 kilometers per hour. How fast is it traveling in meters per second? Again, we, in this case, want to get to meters per second. We have kilometers per hour, but we want to get to meters per second. This is a little bit more tricky than the last one because here we have two different units that we want to transfer. We want to get from kilometers to meters, and we also want to get from hours to seconds. So let's see how we can set this up. Again, we start in our 3,000 kilometers over one hour. It's important here to set it up as a true fraction was with one thing over the other for clarity's sake. I definitely recommend doing it that way. Okay, so now first we want to get from kilometers to meters, right? So we need to know what's what's the equivalence of kilometers and meters. So I know that 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. At this point in the class, you might have to look that up, but as we progress through the year, this is a metric to metric conversion, so you'll get pretty familiar with it, and you'll know that off the top of your head pretty soon. So again, we bring that down, we multiply it times our initial value, the, kil the kilometers cancel, and we're left with meters. So now we have that meters on the top, and meters is what we're going for. So that part's all set. However, we still have hours on the bottom. So we're gonna need to get to seconds. But in terms of getting conversion factors for this one, I'm not really sure how many seconds are in an hour. Of course, I could Google that and go straight to seconds, but there is something I do know. I do know how many minutes are in an hour, so let's use that first. I know that one hour has 60 minutes in it. It's pretty obvious, right? So let's bring that down and use our um, conversion here. We can cancel our hours because they're across from each other, even though it's the other diagonal. That still works, so our hours cancel, and now we have minutes. Now we want to get to seconds, so we have to do a second conversion factor for this one. So we know that in one minute there are 60 seconds. So now we just go into our simple multiplication. We multiply the top, we multiply the bottom to get to our answer. That's shown here. And we get to our numeric part here, which is 3 million meters over 3,600 seconds. We just do simple division and we get our final answer of 833 and a third meters per second. Again, our goal was meters per second and our answer is in meters per second. So we are good to go. And that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for listening. If you need to go back and check, feel free. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys in class.